crash tests were performed on a new guardrail system that was designed to solve a specific problem. TxDOT wanted researchers to see if a lightweight guardrail system could be developed that would meet new testing standards. Ultimately, we were trying to uh, prevent or reduce cross-median uh, crashes. Whenever you have two opposing lanes of traffic that are close to one another, it's always a good practice to have a barrier installed between them. Uh, that prevents traffic from one side, somebody from one side to accidentally come into the opposing lane of traffic and result in a head-on crash. And these are crossover crashes and they're usually uh, fatal. We have a um, concrete barrier um, that does that, uh, but we have some bridges that can't support the weight of concrete barrier. And this uh, rail, this median rail will be lightweight and prevent the cross-median crashes. We looked at the existing metal guardrail systems and we kind of used as much of the design as there is already and then adapted it for use uh, on top of a surface. In our design, we had uh, a rail system that's also supported by posts, but these posts are now just bolted onto the concrete. A key design aspect uh, for, for, for this system uh, was to uh, look at how the post detaches or, or, uh, or deforms uh, where, where it is attached to the concrete. It is important to have the right release of that post or right deformation of that post. If it deforms too quick, if, it's the, if the connection is too weak, and then your whole guardrail will be very weak and it might not actually prevent the vehicle from breaching and going to the opposing lanes. And at the same time, if that connection is too stiff uh, or doesn't release quickly, um, then you would have a very stiff system and that can lead to the vehicle kind of snagging on to the barrier, resulting in a rollover or it may just cause a rupture to the rail or, or something like that. We tested to, uh, to mass uh, test level three. So we tested a small car and a pickup truck on the, uh, on the median rail. Um, both passed with flying colors. It looked, uh, it looked really good. We expect this uh, design to be more cost effective than concrete barriers and at the same time it's going to be much lighter uh, than a concrete barrier so it can be used uh, on top of bridges and also on concrete pavements. For more information and to find the publications for this project, please visit the TxDOT Research Library at the link shown below.